Okay, right here I have this inverter. It's made by Outback, Outback Power System. And here is the quick spec of the inverter. It's um, 3000 VA, 48 volts DC, 45 amp charger, 230 volts VAC, 230 VAC. That's a quick spec of this inverter. Now, recently, it's not a fresh installation. Recently, I replaced the batteries. The batteries, since it's a 12, 48 volts um, DC, that is to say the the voltage from the battery to this inverter must be 48 volts 48 volts so assuming you have a 12 volts or you're using your you're deploying 12 volts batteries that will be to get 48 volts you will require four of it four of the 12 volts batteries if you are using a six volts if you are using six volt batteries um that will be double of that. So instead of all, you, you'll be deploying eight of the six volt batteries at once um, for this inverter. Um, for, for two volts batteries, if you're using two volts batteries, you need 24. If you're using uh, six volts, you need eight batteries. If you're deploying 12 volts batteries, you need just four connected in series. You know, um, what's an inverter? An inverter will take um, a DC, convert DC to AC. That's an inverter. So this inverter is more of, um, it's, it's, it's a backup power supply, that is. It's a backup power supply. It has a grid end where 230 volts is fed in, where the grid power supply is up and running. Um, it, it turns on the charger, the battery charger. You see on this spec card that is rated for the 5 amp battery charger to charge the battery. And when the grid voltage goes off, it automatically switches input. It, it, it automatically takes charges from the from the fixed battery cells and then convert it to to AC. So um, I, I want to quickly show us. Um, what I did, what um, what I did in replacing the batteries, what I've done. The work is already done, just to show us um, what I have done. So, this is it. Okay, um, this place is a bit tight, so please bear with me. Um, it might not be, the video might not be, um, I might not be capturing the batteries um, from a distance or it might not be very clear so please um, but the message will be well passed now there are two very common ways of time um, battery connection okay we have the series connection and then we have the parallel connection of batteries now when when batteries are connected in series they add up. What the, what add up? The voltage from those batteries add up. That's for the series connection. But the reverse is not the case when it's connected in parallel. If you connect two, two batteries in parallel, you get the same voltage as the first one. Two batteries of the same voltage rating, that is, you get the same um, uh, the, 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 the voltage you get will be the same. Now, what I've done here in this connection, uh, here I have eight batteries. Remember, the inverter we saw earlier is a 48 volt system. And here I have each of these batteries here is, you can see on this pecker, each of these batteries is a 12 volts, 200 ampere battery. 
Okay, it says here valve regulated lead acid batteries. Okay, so each of these batteries I've installed here, um, each is a 12 volt battery and is 200 ampere. So it's, it's massive. Okay. Now, to get the 48 volts just to power the inverter or the 48 volts as required by the inverter, first is to do a series connection. And that's what I've done here. So each of these, you see, here there are four of the 200 ampere, 12 volts, 200 ampere batteries. See, this is one, two, three, and four. Below, you also have one, two, three, and four. So I have eight batteries here. And like I said earlier, the connection is both series and par. Now let me quickly explain that. <clears throat> to get the 48 volts as required by the inverter, first of all, I connected this first set of batteries. Um, um, this, the first four, I connected it in series. You can see, as the series connection done, from the first battery, I connected the negative terminal to the positive of the second battery. The, the negative terminal of the second battery to the positive terminal of the third battery. The negative terminal of the third battery to the positive terminal of the fourth battery. Now, when you do that, between, between the, fourth, the negative terminal of a fourth battery and the positive terminal of the first battery will give you 48 volts that's 48 volts okay remember each of these is a 12 volts um, 200 ampere battery now that's what I did and this first set powered the inverter the 48 volts inverter but I, 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 I wanted to increase the capacity. What do I mean by capacity? Um, if there's a grid um, power outage, I wanted the inverter to support the equipment longer. Ordinarily, this 12 volts battery, um, sorry, the first arrangement, this 48 volt by batteries, supports about three hours. So I wanted to double that. So with that in mind, I got I brought in yet another set of four batteries with the same connection. What is the same connection? Connected in series. Now you see that this, the lower ones, you see is also connected in series. The same series, this is battery one. The negative terminal is connected to of battery one. The negative terminal of the first battery connected to this, to the positive terminal of the second battery. On the second battery, the negative terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the third battery. On the third battery, the negative terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the fourth battery. The same way, between, between the, the negative terminal on the, of the fourth battery and the positive terminal of the first battery gives... 48 volts with series connection. But you see, if if I to get these two sets of batteries to give 48 volts, what I did or what I've done here is to connect the positive terminal of the first set of batteries to the positive terminal of the second set of batteries. Okay? What have I said here? If you watch on this positive terminal, you see there are two cables. There are two cables. Now, one of the cable, this is it, goes down. So you see, it's positive to positive. Okay? It's positive to positive. 
right? Now, at the far end, sorry, the place is a bit tight, so I'm squeezing to get to the end. Now, at the far end, see the negative terminal, you see here that there are also two, two, bad, two cables connected. Never mind that this is red, it's uh, connected to the, to the negative terminal. See, now this negative terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the lower set. The negative terminal of the upper set of batteries is connected to the negative terminal of the lower set of batteries. Now this terminal, you will see two cables. This one is, this goes to the inverter. The same way on the other side, what we saw earlier, the second terminal, yeah? This second terminal goes to the inverter. So that is the series parallel connection I have done for this, um, in this replacement. The placement of batteries for the inverter. There are two sets of batteries, four batteries in each set, four batteries of 12 volts in each set connected in series, set A and set B. Okay, and to get it, like I said, is negative to positive to get the series on uh, adjacent batteries. You connect the negative to the positive or the adjacent batteries. Now on the positive terminal of set B is connected to the positive terminal of C. This is the paralleling cable. This and this other cable in there. Okay? So now went this way, right? This red cable. So this this, this is the cable that connects the batteries, the two set of batteries in parallel. Uh, sorry, it's a closet, so that's why you're seeing um, this other where There are other connections here. Okay, so quickly, that's what I have done. Um, just, just to show in practice, practically how the series parallel connection is uh, done. Okay, now you see the, the inverter here is actually online, that is there is grid, there is grid, uh, there is grid power supply. Now you can see from this, from this monitor you see the battery 58 volts, power consumed is 1.1 kilowatts. Battery is 58 volts. See? Eight batteries giving 58 volts. Eight 12 volts, 200 ampere batteries giving 58 volts. So that's how. So that's the series parallel connection. That's what it resulted to. Okay, so if. Um, so now it's on grid mode. Let's do a quick test here. Okay. See now it's gone to it's gone to inverter mode and the battery is now feeding the inverter. So that has now made that is now making the inverter, the batteries, the battery level to to drop gradually. Okay. So, 54 volts, that shows the batteries are in good health. Um, so, okay, so that's what I did, and so far, so good. It's been beautiful, both on AC mode and on grid mode. So, thank you. Thank you for your time.